us focus on understanding the power of the word I am. Remember when Moses said unto God, Behold, when I am come unto the children of Israel, and shall say unto them, The God of thy fathers has sent me unto you, they shall say unto me, What is his name? What shall I say unto them? God said to Moses, I am that I am. Thou shalt say unto the children of Israel, I am hath sent me unto you. This is my name forever. This is a memorial of me for all generations to come. From the book of John, in the beginning was the word, and that word was with God, and that word is God. From the I Am Come pageant, the words of John the Baptist. In the beginning was the word I am, and that word I am was with God, and that word I am is God. Beloved Saint Germain explains in Discourse One of the I Am Discourses. Life in all its activities everywhere manifest is God in action and it is only through lack of understanding of applied thought and feeling that mankind is constantly interrupting the pure flow of that perfect essence of life which would, without interference, naturally express its perfection everywhere. The natural tendency of life is love, peace, beauty, harmony, and opulence, for life cares not who uses it, but is constantly surging to pour more of its perfection into manifestation, always with that lifting process, which is ever inherent within itself. I am. I am is the activity of that life. When you say and feel I am, you release the spring of eternal everlasting life to flow on its way unmolested. In other words, you open wide the door to its natural flow. When you say, I am not, you shut the door in the face of this mighty energy. I am is the full activity of God. The first expression of every individual everywhere in the universe, either in spoken word, silent thought, or feeling, is I am recognizing its own conquering divinity. I am is the individualized presence of every human being on earth. And now we will have the contemplation, abide in me. Mm -hmm. 